all of our kids and country fair. What is, Hi, Ryan. Ryan, hey Ryan. What is a country fair without animals? With us today are some members of the Ventura County 4-H Club and some very special animal friends. Mm. Let's meet our guests right now. Mikey, do you want to start? Absolutely. Hey, well, first start, um, shh, shh, shh. Okay, tell, me about, tell me about the kids here. First introduce yourself, if you would. I'm Don McNeil. I'm okay. with the National 4-H Council. Uh -huh. And uh, these kids are uh, members of our 4-H uh, clubs uh -huh. in Ventura County, uh, Gura and Ventura. It's kind of fun to see the kids and the animals and the Absolutely. relationship there. Huh? And, uh, you know, most people's perception of 4-H is it's about raising animals. Uh -huh. But it, truly, Michael, it's about raising blue ribbon kids. Ah, but they do learn some responsibility. Let's meet the kids and the animals. Hi, what's your name? Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. What do you got in your hand there, Chelsea? They look like a couple of dogs. Is that what you got? No. What are they? A guinea pig and a rabbit. Oh, my gosh. And the guinea pig, does he like to be held by the neck like that? No. No, of course. <laughs> the guinea pig, see, his eyes were that big. He couldn't read it. Yeah, how long have you had the guinea pig? Um, one year. One year? Do you like the animals? Yeah. Yeah, they're fun, huh? Okay. Pretty, uh, pretty rabbit. What okay, do you have, Christina? And who do we have down here? What is your name? Emily. Emily, and who do you have here? This is Dominique. Dominique, and how long have you had her? I've had her for about eight months. My sweetheart. Beautiful dog. And you got her as a little puppy? Yeah, she was and, eight weeks old. And she's going to be a companion for life now? Yeah. That's great. Beautiful. All right, and you are? Laura. And who do you have here? Beige. Beige, and Beige is how old? Two months. What is your responsibility with the animals? Well, basically, we, we have to train a well-mannered dog who can accept any situation as normal. So we take them everywhere we go with us, well, except for like hand gliding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and just expose them to all different situations. Like Even bad situations? Like this one. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. This is going to be the worst experience he'll have, I guarantee you. Hi, what's your name? My name's Chris. Hello, Chris. What do you got there? This is a Bantam chicken. Can you turn it around? It's a venom chicken? <laughs> Let's keep, not a venom chicken. Did you say venom? A bantam. Oh, bantam chicken. Okay. And uh, how old is this chicken? This chicken's um, a few months. Uh -huh. And can you really keep a chicken as a pet? Yeah. Yeah. And how do you care for it? What do you do? Well, I feed it in the morning and I um, I give it water. Uh -huh. this, and you ever I talk to it? Yeah. What do you say to your chicken? Just whatever. Say something to him now. Hello. All right. <laughs> okay. Why did the elephant cross the road? Because the chicken was on vacation. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. Oh, wow, she's one of the hosts. Hi, what's your name? I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Who do you have here? This is Hershey. Oh, and now why'd you call it Hershey? Uh, because she's brown. Brown? Looks like Hershey chocolate? Yeah. And what do you, what is it? To, what kind of animal is this? This is a pygmy goat. Oh, okay. And do you, can you get anything from a pygmy goat? Can you milk a goat that's a pygmy? Oh, you get babies. You get babies. Okay. <laughs> All right. And how, what do you do? How do you care for your... Uh, we give it hay in the morning and make sure it has water and we take it on walks. Okay. Walk it around the neighborhood. But won't they eat anything? Won't they eat your shoe, your no, car keys? Need... Or your... No, they No? No. They have to teach them not okay. to do those bad things, okay. right? Okay. And who do we have here? Jessica. Jessica, and I love these little floppier bunnies. So cute. And how, who is this? This is Bella. And moms. what are you going to do with Bella? What are you moms. teaching her? Um, I show her at the fair and do showmanship also. That's one. And I, you know, I forgot to say too that your dogs are being trained to be guide dogs. That's why you were saying they need to be in situations where they can handle anything. And who, who do you have here? This is Sergeant Pepper. Sergeant Pepper. Hey, cool. Lonely Hearts. Yeah. Yes. And, and how old is Sergeant Pepper? He's a year and a half. And who are you? Dominique. Dominique. Nice to have you here. Okay. So what's your purpose with uh, Sergeant Pepper? I take him to the Ventura County Fair and show him at other local shows. How big is he going to get? Uh, He's pretty much full grown. Do you have him as a pet? Yeah. That's so cute. Okay. I'm with Don McNeil again. You know, I remember the 4-H club growing up as, as a kid. Has it changed since I was a kid? It certainly has, Michael. Uh, we are now moving into America's inner cities. Mm -hmm. And uh, giving uh, the time-honored fundamentals of 4-H to kids who live in the city. Right here in Los Angeles, we have 25 sites that we call 4-H after school activity program sites. They mm -hmm. meet every day after school. The focus is on education, helping those kids do better in school. And these kids learn how to care for a pet and eventually will wind up learning how to care for each other. Is the whole uh, absolutely. Okay. And we, we are also in Oakland and Kansas City and Philadelphia and other cities will be coming. Okay, what we did you want to say? More. And what is your name? Rachel. And who do you have with you, Rachel? Peregrine. Are they friends or what's going they on here? They were friends yeah. until she yeah. just bit her spleen there. What's going there, on yeah. there, huh? <laughs> and finally? And you are? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, and this is? Coco. 
Coco, and oh. he looks like the baby of the bunch. Yep. Okay. Right, so you're all going to show all, you, you win ribbons? Uh-huh. That's okay. great. Okay. And we got our moms back here helping all out as well. All the proud mommies. Thank you so much for being part of the show. If you want more information on becoming a volunteer for the 4-H, call the County Cooperative Extension Office for your 4-H area. Excuse Just ask me. for information in 4-H and they'll get it to you. We want to thank you for being with us today. Thank you for being part of the fair. Uh, we got to take a break. Diane Thomas is going to make some muslin rag dolls that can be your friend. We'll take a break. Be right back.